Hello and welcome to the Taiyi team. I'm Taiyi, your host, and today I'm going to be showcasing 21 secrets in LEGO The Incredibles. Let's get started. Alright, so first off we have the black square glitch. So what you want to do is you want to have a character that can throw a bomb and then have them throw that bomb. And what you want to do is you want to stand on top of that. And if you do it correctly, then a black square will just appear above your head. Let me see if I can do it again. So just stand on top of the bomb before it explodes. And if you do correctly, a random black square will appear above your head. It's pretty cool. On to the next one. So for this next secret slash glitch, you need to spawn the Incredible. And then have Mr. Incredible pick it up and then throw it into the ocean. So once you throw it into the ocean, you need to have an underwater character that can go into the boat. And if you do correctly, you're actually going to be able to kind of go underwater with the Incredible. So just wait for it to sink all the way to the bottom. And once it's at the bottom, go into the car. And as you can see, you can actually drive the Incredible for a little bit underwater. It's a super cool glitch that a lot of people don't know about. So for this next one, you want to come over to the tourist district with a car and you want to get full speed so you can go up this little ramp here at this stadium. And if you have enough speed, you can actually drive all the way up to the top of this building where there will be two purple coins waiting for you. So if you come over to this area on the map, there's actually a little secret district. Right here is not actually a district. So if you zoom out, it's not really in anything, this part of the map. So what you want to do is you want to come over to this area and there's actually going to be some rocks that you can just walk right into like that. It's a really cool glitch and can be super fun for hide and seek if you ever want to play that in this game. It's one of the best and easiest glitches to do in LEGO The Incredibles. This next one is pretty easy to do so all you need to do is you need to pull out a character and press A. And some characters are going to have special character animations like this one. So they'll do some cool thing like that. And it's super easy to do, just walk around and press A. Here's another one with Frozone. He'll start juggling some ice cream. So a lot of characters just have random and cool character animations. It's a pretty cool thing to check out. So if you head over to Camp Hero, you're gonna see this little lake thing in the center. And there's gonna be a little stream that's going to the outside. So if you actually follow this stream, there's a little secret little river and area back here. So you can actually like go up to this place and there's a invisible barrier right here that you can't get past. But it's just a super cool secret little pond. Another good spot for hide and seek. So normally when you're playing as a big fake character, you cannot get into the Incredibles house. It just won't let you in. But if you really wanna get a big fake character in there, just use another character to teleport inside. And there you go, the big fake character is now inside, and you can even do a hyper jump, which is really cool. So for this one, you need to be in the outer Municipal crime wave, and within one of the missions that the characters have for you, you're going to pop up here by the Incredibles house. And what you want to do is you want to fly to that helicopter, which is actually like a TV reporter, and they're going to have some special dialogue for you. Alright, so yeah, there it is, some special hidden dialogue that a lot of people do not know about. So for this next one, come over to this area in the residential district. And there's actually going to be a blue stud you find here, and you can get infinite studs from this. It's a slow process, but it is pretty cool. So, as Dash, if you get that, run away, and then come back. If you do it correctly, then the blue stud will respawn. Let me do it again. So just run out a little ways and then come back and the blue stud will keep on spawning. And you can do that over and over and over, however many times you want. This one is also a infinite studs glitch. So you need to be in the Elastigirl on the case level. So go into that level. And once you're in this level, head to this terminal in the corner here and then complete the game. And once you complete the game, you're going to start to feel a rumble in your controller. 
And this is actually infinite studs glitch. I think it's just something that the developers totally just like missed. So if you stand here, you can stand here for as long as you want. These studs are just gonna keep on coming in. It's really, really cool. You can go do something else while you do this. I mean, honestly, it just, it never stops. It's one of the coolest glitches in this game. This one is pretty cool. So what you want to do is you want to spawn a car right by um, the other person's character. So you need two people for this. So go right up to the edge of them, and you're going to see how I can't spawn it when I'm touching the character. But what you need to do is you need to get super, super close to that character. And with the other controller, as soon as I press A, the other person needs to walk forward. And if you did it right, then you will actually be able to walk inside the car. You can do this with any vehicle in the game, and it's one of the coolest glitches. There's literally just no hitbox in here. It's one of the coolest and easiest glitches to do in the game. This one is super easy to do. So all you need to do is spawn a car at this prison here. And the gates need to be open, but when you walk away, the gates will close and go right through the car. One of the coolest things to do in this game. So there is actually a secret little waterfall beneath the Parr family's house. So you can see how they have a pool in their backyard, but if you follow the waterfall down, there's actually this really, really cool secret little area. It has a ton of water, and it's kind of like a cool waterfall place. Um, there's water coming from somewhere inside the house. I don't know what that is necessarily, but it's one of the coolest secret and hidden areas in this game. So this is a technique that speedrunners use to get this uh, gold brick faster. So what you want to do is at Enna's house, you can just like damage boost through the lasers as dash. So you can just totally just walk through these lasers and they're going to have no effect on you. And if you, you can actually stand like on the roof of them. It's a super cool glitch and a weird one for sure. And somehow I'm soft locked right now. But yeah, speedrunners use this technique. It's a pretty cool one. So here's another one behind Edna's house. There's actually this fence here that has no hitbox because the developers accidentally put the hitbox for it like a little left of it, depending on which way you're looking at. So as you can see, there's an invisible wall right here that I can't walk past, but this fence, I can just walk right into. It's crazy. So for this one, head over to the Anchorman's boat, and you're going to see this little net here. And if you go to the side, you can actually walk inside the net. So as you can see, I'm glitched right inside the net. And what you can do is if you have Jack-Jack, he's actually small enough to like fit into this little crevice. So you can kind of get in, in like a first person view. It's a super cool glitch and really, really easy to perform. Again, it's at the Anchorman's boat. Just come over to this net and walk right in. This is probably one of the coolest in the game. So come over to the docks right here on the map and you're gonna see this little wall here and all you need to do is just walk right through that wall and you can be out of bounds. And as you can see, I can literally explore so many cool places beneath the city and it is super, super easy to do. There's so many possibilities with this glitch. So using the Docks Out of Bounce glitch, you can actually uh, discover some cool like screen slaver TVs in the industrial district. So you need to fly up into this building right here, which normally you can never get into within this game. And there is literally these secret TVs here, Out of Bounce, that the developers put here, and I have no idea why. But it is actually insane. There's just like these random screen slaver hacked TVs. It is one of the coolest glitches and hidden areas in this game by far. This one is another speedrunning technique. So what you want to do is you want to have Elastigirl and come over to this box that has a gold brick. But you can actually just go right under it instead of doing like the whole mission by holding A. And then you can glitch into it. It is so insane. So usually you'd have to like do a race or something to get here, but you can do this within seconds. And it is one of the coolest things that you can do in this game. It's a great speedrunning technique. So this one you can do literally anywhere. You just need the station wagon vehicle. So spawn that vehicle and you need two players. So the second player needs to go into that vehicle within the back, not the front. And then the second player 
needs to drop out of that vehicle. They're still stuck in that vehicle, so when you're walking around, they're just gonna be stuck there, and they're gonna start following you, trying to, like, ram you. It is so cool. Like, they're not even driving. This is the ghost car glitch. It is so fun to do, man. It is really, really awesome. This one is probably the coolest Secret Slash glitch in LEGO The Incredibles. It's another out of bounds one. So what you want to do is you want to have Mr. Incredible and then another character and you want to pick up the other character, walk to the edge of something like this barrier here, and you want to aim it onto the other edge. Um, so Splashdown is on the other side. You want to make sure it's aimed like that. And as Mr. Incredible, you want to drop out. And as the other character, you want to be holding straight. And if you did it correctly, you are now out of balance, and you can explore everywhere on the map. It is so insane. I'm not going to showcase all the cool things. You guys can do that yourselves. You can discover them. But it is honestly just insane, and I'm so, so happy I found this. Alright, so that's all for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was 21 Secrets in LEGO The Incredibles. Please subscribe to the Taiyu team if you haven't yet. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you for viewing. Goodbye, everyone.